a very good morning to all of you this is dr garima mishra associate professor in pharmaceutical chemistry rama university i would today i would like to discuss about the topic enzymes as we know that the cell is the fundamental unit of all living organisms and each and every cell perform its own specific function to maintain the proper functioning of the cells certain chemicals are released from the body uh, which maintains the respirate uh, which maintains the biological as well as metabolic processes thus the enzymes play an important role in metabolic processes of all living organisms here let us discuss the definition properties and classification of enzymes first of all i would like to discuss the definition of enzymes what are enzymes the term enzyme was first coined by a scientist kohne in 1897 and the enzymes can be defined as a biocatalyst which are synthesized in the living organism they ex they act as a catalyst and speed up the biochemical reactions by lowering the activation energy now come to the property properties of enzymes so the first property of enzyme is that all enzymes are proteinaceous in nature meaning all enzymes are proteins but proteins are not enzymes with few exceptions the second property of enzyme is that they perf they are specific in their function is uh, they may be substrate specific or they may be reaction specific Sub uh, in case of substrate specificity i have given the two examples first exam in first example sucrose on hydrolysis gives one molecule of glucose as well as one molecule of fructose in the presence of an enzyme sucrase so here sucrase is the enzyme which is particular for the substrate uh, sucrose in the second example lactose on hydrolysis gives glucose as well as galactose here the enzyme is lactase and its substrate is lactose lactase can never be take part in the uh, hydrolysis of the sucrose substrate now reaction specific means kinases are the group of enzymes which carried out particular reaction that is phosphorylation transferases are the group of enzymes which will Uh, catalyze the transfer of uh, functional group from one substrate to the another substrate and oxidases are the group of enzymes which will perform oxidation reactions the fourth property of enzyme is that all enzymes are thermolabile in nature thermo means heat and labile means sensitive meaning enzymes are heat sensitive the enzymes particularly uh, are best active at temperature Uh, 30 to 45 degree centigrade, and that temperature is called optimum temperature. Below 30 degree centigrade, the enzyme become inactive. While uh, above 40, uh, 45 degree centigrade, the enzymes undergo degradation. Next property is catalytic property. Catalytic properties of enzyme involve the following points. First point is that. Uh, enzymes are required in very small concentration to perform a particular reaction second property is all enzymes perform reversible reactions third property is that the enzyme contains a specific site that is called active site to which a particular substrate react to give a particular product in this figure this is the enzyme and the entire enzyme uh, never react with this substrate only a particular part that is called active site active site to which this substrate will react with this site to give an enzyme substrate complex which is unstable in nature and fur further undergoes degradation to give a particular product and the last property is that enzymes remains unchanged at the end of reaction now the last catalytic property of enzyme is that they ex accelerate the rate of reaction by lowering the activation energy the activation energy is that amount of energy 
which is required in very very small amount to start of the particular reaction we can easily understand this point by this figure or this graph uh, in which energy is plotted at y axis and the reaction is plotted at x axis in this two similar reactions have been shown in first reaction carbon dioxide react with this water to give carbonic acid but this re first reaction is taking place in the presence of an enzyme while the second reaction is taking place in the absence of enzyme so in the first reaction very less amount of act activation energy is required to start up the reaction while in in this uh, second reaction large amount of activation energy is required to start a reaction now the next topic is classification of enzymes the enzymes are classified in two ways depending upon the their site as well as type of reaction they carry so depending upon their site they are further classified into extracellular enzymes as well as intracellular enzymes extracellular enzymes means extra means outside and cellular means cell the enzymes which are produced uh, outside the cell and they perform their function outside the cell such enzymes are called extracellular enzymes and they are also known as exoenzymes for example digestive enzymes like pepsin and trypsin are the extracellular enzymes intra intra means inside and cellular means cell the enzymes which uh, perform their function within the cell from which they are produced such enzymes are called intracellular enzymes and also called endoenzymes the examples are enzymes of grape cycle or glycolysis depending upon the type of reaction uh, enzymes are classified into six categories first oxidoreductases transferases hydrolases lyases isomerases and ligases so the first category of enzyme is oxidoreductases oxido means oxidation and reductase means reduction so these are the enzymes which catalyzes the oxidation as well as reduction reactions and combinedly they, they are called redox reactions the subclass of oxidoreductases enzyme involve first oxidases they will per perform oxidation reaction reductases they will carry reduction reactions and dehydrogenases enzymes perform dehydrogenation reactions as d means removal and hydrogenases means hydrogen means removal of hydrogen here i have given a example in which ethanol undergoes dehydrogenation reaction in the presence of an enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase to give a product aldehyde and in this reaction two hydrogens are eliminated in the form of nadh plus plus h plus ions oxidase enzyme is the first category first subclass of oxidoreductases and oxidase enzyme participates in oxidation reactions these reactions involve the addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen or loss of electrons i have given a example of tyrosine in which tyrosine undergo oxidation process to give a product 3,4 dihydroxyphenyl alanine in short it is called dopa in this reaction uh, th uh, at third position extra hydroxy group is introduced due to presence of this enzyme oxidase further this dopa that is 3,4 dihydroxyphenyl alanine undergo decarboxylation reaction with the removal of carbon dioxide to give a very important product that is called dopamine dopamine is a neurotransmitter 
dopamine is a neurotransmitter in case if tyrosine oxidase enzyme is depleted in the body it may lead to a decrease in quantity of this dopamine enzyme dopamine neurotransmitter which may further lead to a disease that is called parkinson's disease now the next subclass of oxidoreductase is reductase enzyme uh, reductase enzyme which catalyzes the reduction reactions here i have shown the example of reductase enzyme this example is actually the intermediate step of uh, biosynthesis of cholesterol in this step hmg coenzyme a undergo reduction reaction in the presence of enzyme hmg coenzyme a to give a intermediate product that is mevalonate which further through various reaction uh, help in synthesis of cholesterol the second main class of enzyme is transferases transferases are the are those enzymes which transfer functional group from, from one substrate to the another substrate molecule it has two main uh, subclasses one is kinases and another is transaminases the example of kinases is given here uh, glucokinase is the enzyme which converts this glucose molecule into a uh, glucose 6 six, six phosphate molecule by addition of phosphate group in sixth position and this reaction require energy in the form of atp molecule as well as uh, magnesium ions as metallo enzymes now the second subclass is transaminases transamin the role of transaminases uh, are that they, they help in transfer of amino group from one substrate to the another substrate the example is uh, alan this is the alanine which is a amino acid and it is converted into a pyruvate that is a alpha keto acid in the presence of an enzyme that is alanine transaminase by transfer of this amino group uh, into a keto group now hydrolases are the third class of enzymes and these enzymes participates in hydrolytic reactions meaning that they causes hydrolysis of substrate molecule here there are uh, three sub main classes of uh, hydrolases including peptidases amylases and lipases peptidases in case of peptidases uh, peptidases actually causes hydrolysis of peptide bond present in the dipeptides to give a simple amino acids and amylases causes hydrolysis of carbohydrate that is starch into a simplest molecule that is glucose and the role of lipases is that they causes hydrolysis of triglyceride molecules into a fatty acids and glycerol now the fourth main class of enzyme is lyases which perform elimination reactions from the substrate the main sub classes of lyases include dehydratases dehydratases are the enzymes which help in removal of water here i have given the example in which aconitate is converted into cis aconitate with the removal of water in the presence of dehydra dehydratase enzyme now the second main sub class is decarboxylases decarboxylases helps in removal of uh, carbon dioxide molecule from the substrate Uh, the example include the conversion of pyruvate molecule into acetaldehyde with the removal of this carbon dioxide in the presence of enzyme decarboxylase the last uh, la uh, the last subclass is deaminases deaminases means that uh, such enzymes removes amino group from the substrate molecule the example involve the conversion of this glutamic acid into uh, alpha keto glutaric acid with the removal of this amino group from the substrate molecule that is glutamic acid isomerases is the fifth class of enzymes isomerases are the enzymes which helps in rearrangement of the atoms to form a particular isomer It, uh, this group of enzyme have uh, two main subclasses one is isomerases which will perform isomerization reaction and epimerases which will perform epimerization reaction in case of isomerization reactions this form is converted into trans form the in this example fumarate which exists in c form is converted into malate which exists in trans form through isomerases enzyme now the in case of epimerases enzyme they will perform epimerization reaction and the example is conversion of ribulose 5 phosphate 
to xylulose 5 phosphate the last class classification of enzyme involve uh, a group of enzyme that is ligases ligases are the enzymes which, which catalyze catalyze condensation reaction condensation reactions means where the two or three substrates combine each other uh, to give a product the best example of this category of enzyme is dna ligases which help in uh, joining the two single stranded uh, dna molecules to give a double helical structure today i discussed the definition properties and classification of enzymes so thank you all for participating in this lecture